thank you very much for joining us here on Times Now, uh, Mr. Rashwini Vaishnav, Union Information and Broadcasting and uh, IT Minister. Uh, Mr. Ashwini Vaishnav, the budget has announced significant capital expenditure for railway infrastructure as well. That's a portfolio that you've held very, very close to your heart. Can you provide the specifics on how this investment will improve passenger experience, freight efficiency and overall railway modernization and safety? I would like to thank Honorable Prime Minister and Honorable Finance Minister for giving a huge capital allocation for railways, 2,52,000 crore, and this is going to really make a very big difference in the lives of all our passengers. New Namo Bharat trains, 50. New Amrit Bharat trains, 100. New Vande Bharat uh, sleeper and uh, chair car combined, 200 trains. 1,000 new flyovers and underpasses. 1,300 stations already under construction. This year, the entire electrification program will be reaching almost 100%. So all these things combined are going to make a very big difference in people's lives. Uh, last year, the, in the current financial year, we are investing 1,14,000 crore rupees on safety. The budget has allocated 1,16,000 crore rupees for safety. On the whole, about 4,60,000 crore rupees worth new projects have been approved in the budget, which will mean huge amount of emphasis on new tracks, on renewable of the older tracks, on getting better safety practices, better trains, better stations. This will really improve the lives of our passengers. We are also going to cross a major milestone this year. We will be crossing 1.6 billion ton 1,600 million tons of cargo carrying this year. So this is phenomenal. Well, uh, uh, the, the concern uh, will uh, really always be passenger experiences. And uh, well, uh, in recent times, railways uh, have provided that. But let me ask you, you wear another hat, that of the IT minister. Digital infrastructure is a key pillar of economic growth, as we've seen in recent times. What are the major allocations? or initiatives in this budget to improve 5G rollout, uh, AI, artificial intelligence research and India's overall digital transformation because a large part of our economy depends on this. Honorable Prime Minister has kept a huge focus on making sure that the technological base for our country is well, uh, well established. That's why there is so much focus on 5G rollout, which has now reached about 99% of the, all the districts. There is huge focus on the India Semiconductor Mission. The entire program is progressing very well. Five units construction is going on, and 2025 we'll see the first Made in India chip rollout. The huge focus on AI mission, within next uh, few months we will get the own, India's own foundational model, uh, huge focus on quantum missions, national supercomputing mission. In a sense, the overall focus on getting the deep technology in place, getting that foundation right, is progressing very well. And I thank Honorable Finance Minister for continuously supporting this uh, focus on technology. And I thank Honorable Prime Minister for guiding us in this path. Well, India has uh, also now launched an AI mission. How would you respond to those uh, who have been, uh, you know, critical of the fact that this initiative should have been started much earlier? Absolutely. See, getting the common compute facility is most important. Without compute facility, the, the entire mission was very was totally dependent on getting the compute facility and that's why very quickly immediately after the approval of the mission we started working on get, creating that compute facility and very happy to share with you that we have got 18,000 GPU approved and paneled in this program out of which uh, about 10,000 are already available so this is going to be a very big facility and just to give you the context the big uh, supercomputer we have is 700 GPUs so that's a huge compute facility overall which is going to be extremely useful for the uh, startups for researchers for our entire uh, academic community our AI application developers all all of them will get a huge facility 
Well, uh, India is impressed, uh, but will the opposition be impressed with these announcements in the budget? Uh, well, that's another story, but thank you very much, uh, Minister Ashwini Vaishnav, for joining me right here. On the day, the budget has been announced. There's good cheer coming from the middle classes, but clearly uh, some of the points that you make deserve attention uh, may have been overshadowed in uh, this huge euphoria over the tax breaks. Thank you very much, Mr. Vaishnav, for joining.